Greetings to you all. Today we have a Dirk Nowitzki Spotlight Series 1 opening. I was super excited to open these packs because I love the Spotlight Challenges. I refuse to open the 20 pack deluxe boxes because I think they're a scam. So I've only opened the 10 packers this entire year and I've had some success with it previously. I really love all the evolution cards. I really like that this Emerald Steve Nash can go all the way up to Diamond. The requirements are probably ridiculous, but if you have the time to grind, I think it's definitely worth it. I think the rewards this year have been really, really solid for playing the game. Spotlight challenges, weekly challenges, domination rewards are pretty good. Triple Thread is alright. I don't get anything in the first box. Going through the second box, I'm getting ready to call it a day. Usually I only open two of these 10 pack boxes per week, but then... I am convinced that these 10 pack boxes are way better than the 20s because in the 20s I only get the gold players, I get like the worst cards in the set over and over and over but in these 10 pack boxes I've had much better success this year. That box convinced me to open one more and kind of as expected I got scammed but it doesn't really matter because I pulled the best card in the set. I already pulled LeBron James. I didn't realize the set was going to be so expensive to do. It's a good thing that you can sell everything back after you're through with the challenges because these prices are kind of ridiculous. 200k for Amethyst Tracy McGrady and 200k for the Pink Diamond as well. That shows how bad the pink diamond is and how valuable a guy like Tracy McGrady is. But if you're planning on completing this set just for the purpose of doing the challenge, I'd wait a week and a half or so because all of the prices are going to be coming down. I'm even going to sell the LeBron because I know his price will come down. Testing this LeBron in triple threat was pretty fun when I could actually play the game. His dunk tendency is really high, he really loves this behind the back dunk, which just looks awesome. It is easy to block though if there's a defender there. Um, his release is pretty decent, I think it's pretty easy to time. I should have won these games pretty easily, but I didn't realize that on his team he's got that current day communist LeBron. So he's got that Chinese influence on his side, couldn't hit any shots, and I kept getting hit with this lag over and over again. So I feel like that's just because of the packs, or it could be because of, uh, you know. But anyway, let me know down in the comments if you're planning on picking this card up or any other cards in this set. If you're planning on doing the spotlight challenge this week. If you've liked what you've seen here and would like to see more, please drop a like and or a sub, and I will see you in the next one.